day that you run into so many nerdy people that are actually thinking about the same stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. And so just being able to drop my grad into an intellectual conversation with someone and not having them feel like they're just trying to sound pompous is, is pretty cool. It's been an amazing learning experience. People I've met, seeing familiar faces, and just getting to dive even deeper into objectivism. Any objectivist conference is excellent because you get to meet so many incredible scholars and intellectuals who have profound insights on philosophy, on ethics, on um, politics, and psychology as well. And we're just connected with lots of resources that kind of take a different perspective of a lot of things that you learn at university. So I'm excited to get some more of that. As always, I'm really excited for the social experience and meeting really great people. to engage with young people who are really interested in ideas, um, not only in, in objectives, of course, but in general, just learning about the ideas. Uh, this is a really good, serious group of students. They've asked great questions that I've had. I can't count the number of really good conversations I've had. The career part of it was a, was a great part of it. I always enjoy giving uh, young people advice on their careers. Uh, I came here to do the speed mentoring and chat with people, and uh, that was a lot of fun. I had a bunch of students come by my table and ask me all sorts of stuff about my startup and their startup ideas and how to get into entrepreneurship and what it's like. And, had a really good time uh, talking to them. Uh, I think it's a great group of students here, a lot of questions and a lot of energy. This is the first time I've gone to an Ayn Rand con, so it's very exciting. I've read a lot of Ayn Rand's books, but I don't really know much about objectivism, so I've, I knew there was kind of a philosophy surrounding Ayn Rand, so it's interesting to learn more about it. Uh, first got into it from a video game called Bioshock. When I first heard about Ayn Rand, uh, I was watching an interview with Mark Cuban, an entrepreneur, and he mentioned well, one of his favorite books was uh, The Fountainhead by Ayn Rand. I started out kind of exploring the ideas of liberty and libertarianism. We get more towards the philosophical side, and yeah, people bring up Ayn Rand and objectivism, so one thing kind of led to another. Being relatively new to Ayn Rand's ideas, I was a little concerned that I was going to come here and everyone was going to know so much about Ayn Rand and they were going to look down on me because I did not really haven't been my experience at all.